，独立制表品牌 Jacob and Co 以制作这个世界上最狂野的手表而闻名。他们的表款可能会镶上最惊人的钻石，或者它的机芯结构会从各个不同的方向进行旋转，有的甚至做的像是一具跑车的引擎。而今年他们发表了最新款的 Astronomia 规范式指针表款。首度把行星运行结构与三针一线结合在一起，而且尺寸大小还做到可以在日常生活中佩戴，目标瞄准最顶级的钟表玩家。So welcome Jamie to Jacob and Co. I have the pleasure to present you our big novelty, the Astronomia Regulator, well the most compact astronomy we built till today. With the, the theme of the regulator, if you remember, the regulator is a watch which is separating our minute and seconds in three different dials. So that's what we took as an inspiration to create this timepiece. So we have our minutes and the flying tourbillon on top, rotating, floating above the base, and underneath we have the rotating disc which indicates the seconds. So the movement makes a full rotation in 60 seconds. The tourbillon itself makes a 60 seconds rotation clockwise. And the disc on, on the bottom makes a counterclockwise rotation 60 seconds as well. So like all astronomers, we have the um, winding and time setting on the back. And when you see from the side, it's really the flattest with 18 millimeters in height and 43 millimeters in diameter. Jacob and Co. 的 Astronomy 啊，行星运行式腕表可以说是表坛最令人惊叹的结构之一。自从二零一四年发表以来，目前已经进化到整个面盘每一分钟就可以旋转一圈，速度真的非常的快。同时，也可以想象制作这只表的困难度，对制表师来说是一大挑战。So the key also to manage this immense torque you need to move all these components so quickly. Is the constant force device which we patented, and which is releasing the energy six times per second, as exactly at the oscillation rate of the balance wheel. So the escapement is not at all disturbed by this device. Well, um, we we say it's supposed to be an everyday astronomia, which is also only dedicated to time indication. Usually, the astronomers have a theme like you know the dragon or the solar with the solar system. And the time indication may be on the second rank, but here it's all about indicating you our minutes and seconds. We know sometimes they say design follows purpose or purpose follows design. So here our goal was the first amendment was make a smaller astronomy. So to make a smaller astronomy, we were thinking what makes actually an astronomy that big. So it's actually the triple axis tourbillon, right? Which has an additional axis which turns and needs space to turn. So we said, okay, we make only a double axis tourbillon. Then usually in astronomy, we have planets. We have the Jacob cut gemstones. We have sculptures. So all this we reduced. And also then we thought, okay, now we are reducing it, but still it needs to be something special, right? That's why the regulator theme came up to our head that we can separate our minutes and seconds. And since we had the experience with other astronomers to move them fast, the astronomer revolution, and um, having a big disc turning underneath and the astronomer solar, so the experience of all these watches we took and created uh, the astronomer regulator. From the beginning to have a smaller, more compact, but as spectacular as all the other astronomers. Jacob was dreaming from the very beginning to have a fast rotating astronomia. When we introduced 2014, the first astronomia, it was rotating in 20 minutes. Of course, it was a big achievement, but Jacob was looking at the watch that it needs to go faster. Well, like all, all, all um, high grade car brands, they want to go faster with their cars, and then we have Bugatti who goes that fast. So we could reduce it to 10 minutes. Then we reduced, we reduced it even to five minutes, and this was then the limit of traditional watchmaking in this sense, yeah, of the movement, what it was, we were able to do, even increasing the torque of the, of the barrel didn't allow us to go faster. Yeah. So we didn't give up. Yeah. Jacob, every one or two years, said, oh, what's the story with my fast-turning astronomia? So 
he didn't give up, we didn't give up. So in, in, in total, it took us 10 years to have this fast rotating astronomer revolution. And uh, let's say the little secret is that we tried all kind of um, different ways without giving up because we thought it must be possible. And finally it was, um, the, the, the secret key was the constant force device, which was because we had even a standard constant force with one second, releasing the energy once per second. It worked, but it was too, too let's say, um, um, violent, the, the energy, it was too much energy. The movement was really shaking and uh, the escapement was not uh, freely working. So with the idea to cut it down exactly with the, to the oscillation of the balance wheel, uh, this was, was the secret and now there is a patent, so the secret is released.